Several Savannah residents are dealing with damage after bullets fall from the sky due to celebratory gunfire. Our Danae Bucci is live with more on how one couple is lucky to be alive tonight. Danae. Shannon, we received several viewer messages about this unsafe New Year celebration, and one couple actually came within just inches of being caught in the crosshairs. Different New Year's Eve than we'd ever experienced. Just minutes into the new year, Chris Steinmetz and his wife came within just inches between a hospital trip and a close call. We didn't, it's not like we heard it coming out of the sky, but all of a sudden we heard a black. I mean, it was loud. That noise being a bullet coming from seemingly nowhere, landing right, right between right. he and his wife. We were within arm's reach, and right between us, this thing landed. What goes up must come down. Uh, and that's the stupidest thing in, in the world. District 4 Alderman Nick Palumbo says celebratory gunfire is unfortunately nothing new and hopes to introduce new city regulations to keep people from doing this in the future. Well, I'd like to see in the future we're going to have more officers on standby uh, to be able to dispatch. <laughs> In the Steinmetz's case, they don't know where the bullet came from, but they say it will have a lasting impact on them. And make the most of 2021. Make the most of every minute. And according to city guidelines, fireworks, which is another thing that was happening a lot last night, are only allowed on major holidays like New Year's or 4th of July. And those are those big fireworks that people are accustomed to seeing. Those go above 55 decibels. Smaller fireworks like sparklers are allowed on any day. Reporting from Savannah, Danae Bucci, WJCL 22 News. Danae, thank you. And so far, the Savannah Police Department hasn't said if there were any charges brought against anyone.